Hey guys, Buffy Game Bad today, bringing our video. And today, for our weapon conversion series for Modern Warfare 3, we are covering the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 Carbine here in Modern Warfare 3. So, I'll show you guys this is an aftermarket part which was just released here with Season 1. We'll go ahead and do the conversion, show it up in game, and see how the recoil handles and how this weapon handles and makes it pretty unique. I think it's going to be pretty good in uh, multiplayer for sure, and definitely going to be, to be a sleeper in Warzone. So back in out, here's our final design for the CZ Scorpion Evo 3 S1 Carbine, or Carbine, depending on which side of the pond you're on. Pretty nice looking build. So again, this one here, if you go ahead and look at the weekly cha weekly challenges, this was released for week one. So this is the Jock Headhunter Carbine Conversion, or Carbine Conversion. You can see here, you just got to do um, X amount of challenges for week one for either multiplayer, uh, um, zombies or battle royale and um, you can see I got it all in battle royale so you put these on you're you're going to get them all in battle royale without even trying or noticing if you're playing that definitely the easier way to do it um, so this is going to give you a carbine conversion for the Scorpion Evo 3 submachine gun so let's go ahead back out and we will strip this thing down and select it at base so the rival 9 is what we want here rival 9 submachine gun so jump into the gunsmith the main conversion here, you can see you do have um, sort of a, you have kind of a carbine conversion kit here, or a carbine um, barrel option for this. However, this one um, just gives it a longer barrel, but still full auto. And it's not quite the right handguard that you would see on the real life version. So we'll strip that down. Go into the conversion kits here, so the Jock Headhunter conversion. You can see the description is kind of incorrect. It's saying rival... Rival assault rifles, or it's saying it's saying rival assault rifles, not that it turns it into a, an assault rifle. It's kind of confusion with the name being rival nine and the way it's worded, but it's saying you can rival assault rifles with this three round burst conversion that excels at mid ranges. So you can see the pros there are going to be bullet velocity and range, gun kick control, um, recoil control, and damage. The cons are aimed on sight speed, hip fire, attack stance, sprint to fire, and movement speed. But you can see here, it's going to uh, decrease our rate of fire. But this, I think, is bugged right now, and I'll show you guys why. Um, and you'll see it in the gameplay as well. But you can see the pros and cons there. So you're, you're getting a lot of pros for this. Again, this is mainly made for mid-range. You're not going to be full auto with this anymore. So we'll select that. Now, first off, we need to change the camo just because it looks super ugly and it's also hard to see the features of the weapon with uh, the way it is. So I'm just going to run the field ops camo on this. Gives it. It's weird though because the solids don't cover, still a bug from Modern Warfare 2 that don't cover all of the weapon on the majority of, of weapons. Same with the bolt. So that's something I don't think they'll ever fix, unfortunately. Really a bummer for a lot of the weapons uh, that you would want to run solids on. Some of them work, others do not. So this is one of those. So. Put that camo on here. Now, the muzzle brake that comes on this, you can see you get a muzzle brake by default. However, for the um, actual version of the Evo 3 carbine, for the brake that comes with it, um, again, this is more personal preference. You can swap this out to um, something different if you wanted, but it's hard to find the exact, there really isn't the exact one in the game that you would see come at base on this weapon in real life. But the closest, one of the closest ones I think you can get is the brittle brake. So there's going to be a vertical control with fire and aim stability. The cons are horizontal recoil and bullet velocity and range. So again, not the best in slot attachment, but for the conversion, we're going to go ahead and select that. Now for the unveil option, you can go with nothing or you can go ahead and put something on this. I'm going to go ahead and run the, uh, the stealth grip or the... 10, SP 10 angle grip. Both are really good. We'll run the stealth grip here. And again, that's going to give us tack stance spread, aiming auto stability, horizontal recoil, and aiming walking stability, steadiness with cons being vertical recoil. So we'll select that. Then the laser, again, more of a personal preference. You can swap this for an ammo type or something, but we'll go ahead and throw a laser on. Optic, I'm going to run that new Vortex Optic. You can typically run, given that this is a carbine, um, in a real life, it is only semi-auto. Um, so you're going to run, we're just going to run a one times magnification on this, but again, personal preference, um, you can run what you want. There's no right or wrong option with this. Go ahead and run that. Those are our five attachments. Now you don't have, you have kind of a close buttstock, same typical call of duty. You kind of have the collapsed buttstock that would come with the Evo three. So it's as close as you're going to get. You also have a scar buttstock on there, no stock, 
which is strange that they still do no stock instead of folding specifically for these weapons that have folding butt stocks but they did it with the um they did it with the honey badger and the m13s so um i don't know about that regard then you have a m13 uh vertus butt stock here and then some different other butt stocks here m4 butt stocks things like that so strange options there you can see grips are all the same and the magazine options you have a 40 round and you also have a 50 round and then for the ammo it's all the 9 by 19 parabellum so you're not changing the caliber with this so this is our final design for the scorpion evo 3 s1 carbine with the 16 inch barrel now again like i said in real life it is a 16 inch barrel this is the civilian version the s1 is a civilian version which was released with the carbine i don't think there is any police or law enforcement version of the carbine or carbine out there that's full auto or select i believe it's only the civilian one this was unfortunately continued this year in 2023 uh if i'm not mistaken but again you're retaining all the uh features from from the czech republic and the cz options so you have fully ambidextrous firing firing controls um bolt release magazine release again ambidextrous there in the front of the trigger guard and you have the ambidextrous charging handle which can be configured to either side and you have the right hand ejection port on this weapon the bus stock will fold to the right hand side and will not interfere with the ejection port and then you have mlock handguard here for the um for the carbine variant unfortunately we don't have any of the like the flux suppressor that would come with this as an option in real life and again, the handguard is slightly different than what you would see in real life. Um, in real life, you would have kind of an angular uh, end to it. It wouldn't just end at a at a straight straight handguard. It would kind of be angled a little bit at like a fifty degree angle ish. So um, that's one thing. But again, typical Call of Duty, they'll they're never going to do things one for one. Um, so that's fine. I think it like looks pretty good, honestly. So let's go ahead and we'll jump into the firing range with this weapon. Now look at how the weapons look here my primary and secondary versus in the in game i think today's update busted something in privates it's not here in the firing range however in the privates my my field of view and perspective is very very off and you guys will see exactly what i mean if just look at the way the weapons look here in the in the field of view and everything like that and then when we get in game it's just a private game issue i believe i don't know how to fix it so um Stay tuned until I can figure that out. But again, here's the Scorpion Evo 3 S1 carbine with the 16 inch barrel. Now, this is supposed to be a burst fire. You have select fire to semi. Also, another cool thing is they changed that Oli V laser to an orange ish, like a darkish orange red mix, which is nice instead of a red. Now, the burst. You're supposed to have a three round burst. However, you hold the trigger down and you're going to have. A continuous burst so you're supposed to get a burst like this however I hold the trigger down it's basically full auto um, just firing in burst so it's you hold the trigger down it's gonna burst automatically I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be if that's how it's intended um, but that's how it is for now so I'm curious if that's something they're going to fix or not but there's no really very little burst delay and you hold the trigger down and it's going to automatically burst fire. So that's definitely something that's interesting. I don't know if it's bugged with this gun. You'll see in the gameplay there's a lot of like issues in private matches. The field of view and me running and everything is just even when I'm calling an airstrike. It's just something's really goofy with the game right now after today's update. So checking out the recoil control. Just let this thing rip. Now again, that's holding the trigger down with uh, with very little to none, bur no burst delay. Now if I do, if I fire it with trying to burst it how we how it should be, I think. So it's going to be much more accurate, and I'm not controlling it there either. So let me go, just hold it down. It'll do the continuous burst, and we'll try and control it here. So you can see, you kind of saw that happen live, how I pivoted out overcompensated. <clears throat> so there you go, not too bad. However, if we had a slower burst and it wasn't, if, if it wasn't hold down and, and fire, if we just, that would be maybe a little better depending. So I think it might be bugged right now because I'm just holding the trigger down right now and that's what we're getting. But again, really cool weapon. It's pretty accurate at these medium ranges. 
And again, I'm not adjusting my my uh, shooting range for for uh, plates or anything like that. So just checking out the amount of bursts if this thing would stay still, that'd be nice. Two bursts. Trying not to hold. I'm not holding it down here. I'm trying to burst it as it should be. Two. Two. So definitely some bugs going on with this. Go ahead and back out. And just look at the camos quick for this weapon because we haven't looked at this gun uh, as the actual conversion or the actual base itself for the Evo 3 yet. You can see there. And then obviously we're putting this camo on to hide the uh, 3D printed option there for the parts of the lower receiver. So that's our final design for the Scorpion Evo 3 S1 carbine conversion. Let me know what you guys think down below of this conversion. Again, the week one challenge. This is really cool. If they keep adding, they have six weeks here in this season. They keep adding... You know, there's so many aftermarket parts and things like that that they already detailed in the blog post. So I'm really, and we know there's two additional weapons coming, whether that's part of Season Reloaded or they're going to be part of the weekly challenges and rewards. There's a lot of content here coming to this game weekly, which is really, really cool. I like what they did with this. Now, you'll see in the gameplay, it's obviously the field of view is bugged. Um, even when I'm running, you'll see my, my left arm and hand that are off the weapon look okay at first and then when i'm sprinting like it'll um you, you'll see it just keep an eye on it's 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 there's some issues going on and it appears to only be in privates um which is typically where some some different bugs pop up that you don't see in multiplayer or anything like that so i apologize if it looks a little weird again the the point of view the field of view and, and the perspective of the weapon itself like where where the camera is positioned on my first person body looking at the weapon looks definitely weird compared to how it should be and how it was in fire range so regardless looking at how the weapon should handle i think it's a good good display we're using it here and again just holding it down for the for the fire burst so it's not there's no really no burst delay whether it's supposed to be like that or not we'll have to wait and see um now again this carbine conversion came out in 2015 and was discontinued in 2023 mainly due to the fact that there wasn't enough sales for this so it was available in two different variants the variant that you see similar to this one had a they both had 16 inch 16.2 inch barrels one had a muzzle brake and then the other had a uh fox 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 wow definitely did not say that correctly a fox suppressor um which looks similar to an integral suppressor which we do not have that feature in this game for for the carbine but um regardless it's a really nice looking weapon and I'm a big fan of the carbine conversion, what they did here. Now, it fires 9mm Luger in real life. Magazine capacity is going to be 20 plus 1. Magazine type is a double stack polymer magazine, with the frame of the weapon being a fiber reinforced polymer, which kind of makes. It seems like with the conversion, they're going more to the 3D printed option for all these, but it, it could potentially be the same, just off color. Grips are also polymer um, adjustable reach to trigger. You have the adjustable butt stock. Um, sights are adjustable, cold hammer forged, muzzle break, excuse me, cold hammer forged, muzzle threaded. You have a 16.2 inch barrel. The weight overall for this weapon, the carbine in real life being 6.38 pounds. Overall length is going to be based on the buttstock adjusted or folded is going to be 36 to 26 inches with a height of 9.4 inches. And it's fully ambidextrous fire controls as we said. So the CZ Scorpion itself was released, um, the prototypes in 2009 was the design period, and it's been in service from 2009 to through present. So that's the CZ Scorpion Evo 3, but again, the carbine conversion, the civilian version here for the carbine was released in 2015. You have the Scorpion CZ Scorpion Evo 3A1, which is the submachine gun variant, which is select fire and full auto. For military and law enforcement then you have the semi-auto version which is the s1 which is the civilian version only in um single fire so that's what we have here it, even though it's in a burst and continued burst in real life this thing would only be a single fire weapon because it is a civilian version of the weapon let me know your thoughts down below of this weapon we have all the uh links down below in the description for the channel also um if you're enjoying the content be sure to like the channel or like the video and subscribe to the channel it definitely helps out smaller channels like myself we're really close to 40,000 subscribers here so i'm pretty excited for that um we're getting really close hopefully hit that by sometime next week potentially um so we've definitely been growing quite a bit here um recently on the channel so i'm pretty excited for that um 
and I do, do notice some bugs here in the in the game. Um, just as I'm recording this and obviously getting the footage, things like that. But I think it's morely, more so uh, reserved, like I said, for um, private matches. But big shout out to our channel members. We have Colton B, Conan the Librarian, Medic75156, Man Named Nobody, Asad V07, PDX Jake, Ram Rapster, K Dog 350, This Justin, FPS Cannon Fodder, and Noodley Boyo. So. We will have the store up probably this weekend, if not early next week. I have it set up. I'm uploading the designs, working with the team on this new site to make sure the designs match what I had already printed out for myself for tests because I had to go with a different option. Um, let me know um, what you guys think when those are up. I'll announce it on the channel when the store is active and you guys can go ahead and purchase shirts off there. That'll be coming up really soon, like I said. But again, members, you do get some perks. You get a discount on the clothing options and things like that. Um, we also have Twitch links, all that down below. Let me know your thoughts down below of this weapon. What you think of the update, how you enjoying the Battle Royale. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming with the Scorpion Evo 3 S1 Carbine. Till next time, Buffner Gaming, out.